Hello, I'm Dr. Joseph Freeman, and today I'd like to talk to you about hydrogels. A hydrogel is a group of polymer molecules that are linked together that act sort of like a sponge and that they can absorb liquid very readily. Hydrogels are everywhere. They're in things you wear, like contact lenses, and they're also in things that you eat, like gummy bears. So let's say we have some polymer chains and just sitting in a petri dish on a plate and we decide to add water. Now what normally happens is that the water molecules will push the polymer molecules or polymer chains away from each other. Now let's say we make a hydrogel and to make a hydrogel we form bridges between polymer chains or polymer molecules. So we form these bridges so that they're all linked together. So now when we have water, instead of pushing them apart, what happens is the water stretches the chains and gets locked in between the chains. So instead of moving apart, the water is now absorbed between the polymer chains. So now some of our students are going to show you how to make a hydrogel. First, they'll start by blending a polymer with a photo initiator. The photo initiator allows the polymer chains to stick to one another so we can form bridges or crosslinks. So we'll mix these two together thoroughly. And then after mixing, we'll subject the solution to UV light. The UV light activates the photo initiator, allowing the polymer chains to become sticky and stick together to form bridges or crosslinks. Once they form those crosslinks, our hydrogel is formed. Hey students, right now we're adding the polymer into the, the vial. The polymer consists of polyethylene glycol diacrylate. And now we're going to extract 20 milliliters of the photo initiator solution. Hold tight for a second. Now we're going to add the stir bar to the solution. And we're going to take it over to the mixer to put the polymer into one solution. So now I'm going to turn off the stirrer so that I can extract 15 milliliters of solution. Now I'm going to secure the top tightly so we can take it over to the vortexer to mix. So now I'm going to put it in the vortexer. And this will vortex the solution for, four, for a few minutes. We are now going to pipette this solution into the plates to form the hydrogel. We'll now expose these discs to UV light and to cross-link them and form the hydrogel. We're now at the end of the process and after we have exposed the plates to the UV light, the liquid has cross-linked and now the hydrogel is formed. Now we'll show you what the hydrogels look like. That's it. I hope you guys learned a lot about hydrogels and how we make them in the lab. If you have any other questions or you're interested in biomedical engineering, you can feel free to look us up on our website, which is listed at the bottom of the screen. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you soon.